Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Loudly Speak. Today we have a new game, an indie game that's taking the world by storm, Gone Home. Released just yesterday for the low low price of, I believe, £13.50, I think. It's 10% off for a few days as a celebration of its release. It's apparently in the style of Dear Esther, made by a completely different development team. Um, that's why it was recommended to us by none other than Barry Ladd, our very own Barry from the Chairshot Podcast. Go give it a listen, loudlyspeak.com, little plug there. Um, I haven't seen anything about it really. I, you know, read the synopsis, looked at a few Steam, uh, Steam store screenshots. It looks fantastic. It's sort of a game that I get the idea that it is what you make of it. You know, there's no combat, there's no RPG, there's no real developing story that's spoon-fed to you. It is uh, at the limits of your exploration only. So, uh, with that in mind, I think we should just jump straight on into it and see what it has to offer. Use Wazda to walk, okay, and look around using the mouse. Nice simple controls for a nice simple story game. Uh, let's hope this really has the captivation that Dear Esther does. By all accounts it absolutely should. It's really... I've been hearing nothing about it for the past couple of days now um, as people, you know, sink their teeth into it, get along in the story. Uh, apparently it's all set in one place, all in this house. Uh, I read a little bit of the, you know, introduction to the story, as I say. Hopefully we'll be given that at the end of this very long loading screen right now. <sighs> Taking a very long time. Is it going to go through? Yes, here we go. Okay. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. June 7th, 95, 1.15am. And here we are. This is the loudest weather I have heard in my entire life. I'm going to have to turn this down a whole heck of a lot because I literally... Jack's going to kill me for that. Literally can't hear myself talk. But I literally couldn't. So that's perfect use of the word. I defy anyone to say otherwise. Our graphical settings are a little high. Let's see if I can lower these a bit. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid I just can't do this on high. Um, uh, because uh, I am running a, a MacBook here. <laughs> okay, we're back. We've uh, changed the graphical settings. And uh, hopefully it's going to run a little smoother now. A little smoother, that'll do. That'll do, I think. Okay, name here. Caitlin Green Greenbrier. Caitlin Greenbrier, I suppose that's us. Destination Portland, Oregon, that's where we are. Flight number was 270. Date is June 6th, 1995. These are our bags. Can we uh, pick them up? Oh, we got zoom, right click, exactly like Dear Esther. Fantastic. Uh, I don't remember, there wasn't an interaction button, was there? Now to look around. Maybe we'll be given one. See so if we can just open doors. It's just so much exploration. Grab Christmas duck. Press right mouse or left shift to examine a held object and rotate it round. Like, why? Let's move over to the light here a second. This cost $5.99. Why do I need to know this? Looks like it's been smashed and repaired. <gasps> maybe that's... Maybe that's important. Oh man, who knows? What if that's important? It's a Christmas duck that does look like it's been glued back together. What do I do with this now? I don't want to hold a duck. Can I just... Just throw him on the floor. Remember, he's outside. Oh man, there's already so much exploration to do. We haven't even entered the house. We haven't even read the very clearly wanting to be read note that's on the door that I did notice. Put, we can gently put things back as well then. Can't see a thing out here. Can we turn the lamp on? Fantastic. Oh my god, there was a key. Ah, so there was a point in picking that up. Holy thunder. Um... Okay, well, I assume we need that then. We haven't even <laughs> found out that the door's locked yet. Press 1 or I to check the contents of our backpack. Oh, look, it's our driver's license. Oh, no, our passport even. 
United States of America. That's a very authentic looking passport. Wow. Caitlin Greenbrier. We were born 73, so it's 95, but 12th of December, so we are... Oh god, maths. 95, so we're 22. We're 20, 21, 22, either 21 or 22 because I can't maths. Uh, she bought it just to go to Europe, aged... Uh, she got it in 94, typical American style, I'm led to believe. Fantastic. Um, here's her boarding pass. Amsterdam to Portland, transfer at Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Uh, yeah, okay, so we were, we, were in, uh, we were in Amsterdam, fantastic. Spare key that was hidden on the wall, Christmas duck. Uh, that's good, so I guess we're going to find out the, the, the door's locked. Hold right now, to look closer. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around to try, uh, trying to find out where I am. I don't want Mum and Dad, anyone, to know. We will see each other again someday. Wow, don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Oh man, that's awful. What's happened? I suppose that's our brother. Oh, the door was open. Or did we use the key? Or is the key for something else? Is this, uh, is this gonna amnesia us at some point? I didn't, I didn't expect this to be a, a horror game. Oh no, that update's available thing's gonna be bugging us all the way through. I'm so sorry for all these complications of me running a goddamn Mac. I'm gonna get rid of this quickly, and uh, we're gonna come back. I'm gonna cut right back. Okay, we are back for non-Mac users. That little update pops up there every, I think, something like five minutes until you finally update your Mac. One way to get rid of it is just open the App Store and leave it. So that's what we've done. Right, let's get back. To exploration now. There's just so much. We've got a folder here, front hall, so I guess we can take from that that we have moved recently. Uh, we could turn the lamp off if we wanted to for some reason, but that is just too scary. Turn it back on. Whew. Let's close these doors as well. Jesus. Okay. Oh, this. Just, we had the thing over there, but now I'm here with the tissue box. Let's get into the light and let's, let's examine this tissue box. Soft face. Barcode. Got tissues in it. And nothing. Get rid of it. Don't need that. Let's turn this lamp on. Oh, wow. Uh, not supposed to be able to read any of this, I suppose. But it looks like someone's been moving in a hurry, I guess. Someone's been in a bit of a hurry. I was in the way of the drawer. Is there anything inside the drawer that's of any... What is that? I'm actually tilting my head right now. I don't think it's particularly relevant. There's nothing in here that is. I think it's for a supermarket. Most of what's in there is for a supermarket. We can close that, I think. Uh, oh, there's a bottom drawer. That wasn't... Uh, yeah, more more receipts and such. Top drawer. Oh, there's a bit of a note in here. Directions to work from New House. Okay, so we definitely just recently, recently moved. Um... Uh, it doesn't look like. Travel time, one hour, ten minutes. It takes us, takes someone an hour and ten minutes to get to work. Uh, I don't know if that, I suppose that's not us. Um, if we're, you know, we've been in Amsterdam for the past year. Uh, right, let's read these, this folder. We have an invoice. Wellspring Movers. Okay, so this is an invoice for the delivery. 1,600, is that how much? $2,750. Oh, for packing as well. Plus insurance. Where did we move from? Is it going to tell us where? Um, Terence Greenbrier. Okay. Uh, oh, this, so this is the from address. Which is somewhere else in Oregon. We just moved across Oregon and it cost us nearly $1,000. You've got to be joking me. And that's in 94 as well, so that's like a thousand and one hundred dollars. Dear Katie, hmm. so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where... I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. 
Wow, I, I don't know why that happened. Apparently also our, our little uh, sibling Sam is a girl. It's rather sexist to me to assume that she wasn't. I don't know if I vocalised that, but I certainly thought it. Uh, I don't know where that came from either. I didn't pick up her journal. I suppose just when we hit key moments, we'll get that uh, developing story. Here's a trophy we have. Regional track and field finals. 91 girls long jump. Uh, we're a long jump track star, apparently. So that's good. Put that back. This is creepy as all heck. Hecho en Mexico. Fantastic. So someone at some point has been on holiday in Mexico. <gasps> Maybe everyone's been abducted by the cartel. Another trophy from the year before. 100 meter relay first place. Uh, a relay, that's what there's four names. Okay. I wonder if those names will be relevant at any point. I keep checking, like, just in case her name has changed or something. I don't know if that's a hangover from Papers, Please. Uh, I don't think she, her name's going <laughs> to be different at any point. The Tombs of Youth, for some reason, is the only book cover that we can read. Again, ominous. Maybe our little sister is dead. Oh, this one we can pick up. Because it's a Bible. Uh, and that's it. It is a Bible. Well, what house doesn't have a Bible? That doesn't really tell us anything. Uh, nothing in those cabinets. All those. Uh, obviously, I'm being meticulously thorough here. We could, I'm sure if we sprint upstairs, go to the master bedroom or whatever, this is going to be another glaring hint as to what's going on. But I sort of want to, you know, work my way through it. Holy God, this thunder is scary. I keep thinking it's just a monster's going to pop out from somewhere at any point. Oh god, the longest letter in the world. I can't even really read the handwriting. Dear Jan, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Uh, remember the little dorm, down room we shared, dorm room we shared freshman year, when we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look what, uh, look who got both. Hey. Oh, okay, so we have a mansion in the woods. That's where we are now. That's where we've moved. Somebody up there likes you. More religious stuff. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. Ha ha ha, seriously. Ha ha ha, so funny. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. I'm sorry I'm so slow reading this. This handwriting is god awful. It's like a 90 year old. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. I miss you, Rumi Carol. I suppose what we can get from this is then... Oh my god, it's Carol. <gasps> Carol. Yeah, uh, what we can get from this then is that Carol is a friend... Uh, old dorm... Dorm mate. Is that what they're called? Roommate, dorm, roommate, whatever, of our mums. Uh, who is also not here, along with our little sister. Hmm. Okay. Well, so our mum... She must be doing well for herself then. By, by the tone of that letter seems so. What is this? Oh, phone books. Okay. Uh, what county phone books? Is that the county? Is that where we're living now? I just, I don't even know if something like this is going to be at all important. Uh, but I should at least remember where it is. We are Boone County, yes. Uh, I don't know if they were left then by the previous tenant. Is it a tenant if it's a house? It's not. Homeowner. <laughs> Homeowner. Uh, I just noticed this. Have a dog gone cool 17th birthday. Well, we're 22, so... Is this Sam's? It is Sam's. <gasps> Uncle Harvey has entered the game. Who is Uncle Harvey? Is he the reason Sam left? Oh no, it's gotten all serious now. Jesus. That is a cool picture there. Maybe that's our dog. This looks like one of those ones you get made at moonpig.com. Little plug there for them. Hit us up with that collab. Uh, glasses on a dog must be our dog. No one buys that otherwise. Uh, I think we've done... Let's go into this door then. Since we seem to have done... God, that's scary. Uh, uh, you know, we've worked our way over to this. That was scary as crap. Oh, E is also a use button. I prefer that to clicking. Can we, can we use the key? 
No, we can't use the key. Um, but this door is locked. Why is the door locked? This is our house. Is there a secret key in the Bible? Like, we can't sort of interact with the Bible beyond... Oh, my God, I threw the Bible. I'm so sorry, God. Uh, I was a blaspheming while saying that, so it sort of cancels out. Put it back. No, put it back. Stop throwing the Bible, you barbarian. Right. Uh, let's try this door instead, then. Oh, God, a dank closet. Pull the string. Uh, front hall. Yep. Good fellow... Goodfellow High School. Someone went to Goodfellow High School. Don't know if that's necessarily us. Oh, my phone there. Going off. Should silence it. Wait. Um, Janice Greenbar. Okay, so that's Jan. Our mum works at the Forestry Service. Takelma County Forestry Service. Senior com conversationist, I nearly said. Conservationist. Um, okay, our mum was a con... con oh, I still can't say it. Conservationist. Anything behind the door up on a shelf? No, I've seen how these American closets work. They have shelves for days. Um, let's check the bathroom then. Ooh, left a jar. Getting scary and scarier. We can't turn the light on. Oh, there we go. Sliding door. Just some old towels. I mean, they're probably new towels. I don't miss, mean to cast dispersions on their towels. Author magazine. Freelancing tips and tricks from the pros. It's new February, so someone here, I suppose, is an author. 50 contests with up to $21,000 in prizes. Critiques the blank page. How authors can get published. Blah, 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 basically. But someone uh, is a writer enough to want to read <laughs> Authors Magazine on the bog. Uh, soft plus rich. Look at that. Softest toilet tissue for your money. We are, we are rich as heck. With the uh, quilted for extra strength and absorbency. Look at that. We are rich mofos up in this house. More medicine. Oh, not, well, not more. The phone books earlier I thought were medicine. <laughs> is what I mean by that. Uh, Band-aids. Please don't tell me we're going to need these. I keep just throwing things instead of putting them back. Come on. A toilet roll. Why can I pick this up? Is there going to be drugs inside of it? Another box of plasters, yeah, yeah, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, what's this? Cleansing powder. Vax cleansing powder. What's that, though? Hand soap. Brilliant. Nonsense. Oh, there's more. So if we run out of hand soap, we know where to get some new stuff. Force it on, off. Why can we, though, use the toilet? We cannot. This is not a real game. Oh, we can flush it. Well, at least we can flush it. Uh, let's turn off the lights and close the door. Um, wow. Where should we go next? Let's try this door. 